All aboard. <laughs> so we've made our way down to Rotterdam today. Really nice little train trip. Took about 43 minutes direct way, 39 euros. So can't beat that. Um, got a few plans here in the city. We're gonna go see some grand, beautiful, unique architecture and just see what the city has. Um, planning on getting some street food here in Rotterdam. So should be a pretty good time. Make my way down here to the city center, put me in my Google instructions, and I'll see you down in the city. Yes. And this was the direct train I took. In the official first look of the city of Rotterdam. Wow. Fun times. Let's get to it. Not much going on in Rotterdam this morning. It's the little shopping district mall area. And as you can see, just completely dead. We are here a little bit early. The train schedules were absolutely horrendous to get back from Rotterdam. So I had to come out butt crack early. <laughs> but really digging it so far. Cool little town. Tried to look up a few coffee shops and for some reason they don't have any on the map. Maybe they don't advertise it as in Amsterdam. So, a little history, Rotterdam was completely destroyed during World War II, so in this little vlog you won't be seeing all the grand, um, you know, old architecture that Amsterdam or even Hauda has to offer, but still, you know, pretty cool. We're heading up here to these cube houses, and like I said, I want to put these eyes on it because it's supposed to be a grand spectacle. <laughs> First little trip down by the canals here in Rotterdam. Ooh, that thing. Pretty tight. Look at these views. And like I mentioned, you know, a lot of the architecture here, original architecture of the city, was destroyed in World War II, but what they did was they got a lot of, you know, modern age, really fun designers to come through the city and spruce it up a little bit. You can see the cube houses from here. Um, head on over. Hmm, fun times. <laughs> Just look at these things, guys. What in the hell? <laughs> that is pretty cool. A few touts out here looking to take pictures for you. Cool. We'll do a full 360 on the property. Wow. These are residential houses. They do have one reserved for tours. Look guys, did my history. So there's just people outside of your house all day taking pictures. <laughs> so what'd y'all think? Gorgeous, right? That just made Rotterdam all worth it. One hour in, still got about three or four. We're gonna keep heading down this street and see what we run into. This is a little eating district in Rotterdam, guaranteed to be bustling during proper Netherlands meal times. Oh. Cool little fountain here, nice statues. Erasmus University College. Yeah, get that education. So the tourist coffee shop prices have dissipated. Just checked out coffee shop Tree Punked. 
and really good bud show you what you got fairly priced got a nice little joint um, you know you're gonna pay them extra tourist dollars in Amsterdam so Rotterdam coffee shops number one we're gonna make our way down to the, the peach neighborhood now found a little park over here um, when I was leaving the coffee shop I asked a girl you know what's the deal here in Rotterdam what's the laws and she said there's not too many indoor coffee shops no really you know public smoking You're supposed to smoke in your domicile but she said go to any park you see without playground equipment and you'll be good and <laughs> I was good I don't know how to pronounce it but we're heading to the de pidged neighborhood get a little dinner Sorry, a little lunch. Here's a look at the Rotterdam tram. Cool. Right across the way, coffee shop to Centrum. Feel really bad that I didn't get that coffee shop true punk online, you know, put down on video, but really nice ladies, really nice place. Uh, favorite coffee shop I've been to so far. Yeah, walk over there, give it a check. Nice little spot in there too. Fairly priced again. Their grams were a little bit more expensive, but their joints a little cheaper. <laughs> Good job. I think that's going to conclude our Rotterdam coffee shop reviews for the day. <laughs> Let's go get some lunch. And we have made it. And I don't want to butcher their name, so I'm going to hyphenate it here a little bit to the D Pip neighborhood. This neighborhood is the unofficial, official red light district of Rotterdam. It's going to be nowhere near kind of, you know, like in your face, like in Amsterdam. I believe it's all back alleys, you know, side doors, no windows. But we're going to come down here, take a little look. I mean, 11 a.m., but see what's up. So this is where all the coffee shops are. Coffee shop Pluto right over there, past about two or three more back behind us. So getting into a little more you know not the touristy area of Amsterdam where they're willing to you know show themselves a little bit more I'm sorry take that back Rotterdam <laughs> my kind of place ethnic food weed hmm. when I see the Scottish flag flying you know I'm gonna check it out see what they got perhaps iron brew Hello. Pretty cold beverages. And see where we're at. Unfortunately, not much of interest in the expat store. Um, got the Scottish flag flying, the British flag flying. Don't have one iron brew, one flake bar. <laughs> so that was deep hip. I mean, you know what I mean? We're here during the day. You're not going to see too much. Um, don't even think I probably hit the right streets, but there's absolutely nothing on Google Maps to tell you where to go to get to a little area. So we're going to start doubling back. Um, head in, try to get a little lunch here and call it a day. We have a little statue walk here, right by the canal. Nice, Bridget, come back. <laughs> Look at that building over there. Ooh. Really wanted to try capsule on while I was here, but I don't know. Different little pieces of art here. Cool little spot. Little puppy going for a nice walk. Rosie. The Bustier. In no particular shape at all, but yet in a very distinctive shape as it may come. Canal photo tourists. 
Whoa, what's that guy beating? Huh. And a big tree thingy. That's it. Statue walk. Rotterdam. Just a hustle and bustle. Beautiful Rotterdam. HFC guys, I've never eaten at a halal fried chicken, so let's make it happen. <laughs> Possibly a little Middle Eastern chain restaurant, let's see. So the halal fried chicken, he said they are native to the Netherlands and Belgium. Gorgeous. I'm gonna get the chicken Rossi burger. I believe that it's gonna be similar to the chicken Big Mac, so pretty happy. Let's do it. All right, you guys don't know how happy this makes me. I mean, I was gonna go over here to this McDonald's and, you know, travel all the way to Rotterdam, Netherlands for McDonald's, but I mean, wow, amazing. The guys are really friendly, told me film whatever I wanna do, and you know, HFC guys. I mean, this meal right here, and I mean, you know, their flash and everything, and their, you know, logo, it's just so similar to Burger King, but just amazing. So this is the chicken roti, and yes, it's gonna be kind of just like the chicken Big Mac, but with tomatoes. <laughs> Very interested. So fries, and I mean, the sauce selection was outrageous. You had about 17 different sauces, but I think we're gonna go with the curry ketchup. So, put the camera up, and let's get to lunch. <laughs> A lot stuff. Chicken roti. Let's see if this takes me back. I see a little potato patty on there, guys. Oh, 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 oh my God! Dang. Okay. Okay. It's like every meal gets better and better here in the Netherlands. This is all halal too, you know. So it's all been blessed. I mean, mm. wow. Heading to Belgium next, so I think this isn't going to be the next and last time that we see HFC on my videos. Give this curry ketchup a little go here. Never had curry ketchup. Interesting. Very interesting. It's got a nice little tang to it. I like it. This burger, though. I think I've got to get one more shot. Oh, Jesus. HFC guys, HFC. HFC, can't thank you guys enough. Uh, went back up front, told the guy thank you very much for all of his hospitality. Just exactly how it's supposed to be here in the Netherlands. Haven't seen one of these since we were in Germany. Might get a little treat. Let's see what they got. Got us one of the little apple beignets. She said it's not finished yet, so guys, don't think that she's leaving these little blank spots here. But beautiful lady. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, so got us a little sweet for the train, and we're gonna head on back down to the central station now. It's getting to be that time, and worried that I'm gonna get stuck in Rotterdam for the night. Not that that would be a terrible thing, but I want to get back. Fun day out in Rotterdam, guys. Thanks for joining me. Weather held up for us. It's supposed to start pouring in both Amsterdam and Rotterdam in about two hours. Um, so we're gonna make it back just in time. Fun day, I mean HFC, the coffee shops, all the architecture, beautiful city. Um, Heather, can't wait to show you one day. Hopefully you'll wanna come out and check Rotterdam out for yourself. So guys, wow. Just fun times here. Hit the damn, uh, central station here in Rotterdam and we're gonna call it quits. Get back on this train, head back to Amsterdam and see what kind of night vlog we can come up with tonight. So guys, till the next time, take it easy and peace. Rotterdam.